Hello YouTube and welcome back to part 6 of episode 3 of Let's Play Back to the Future the Game. And as you remember we had come to visit Citizen Brown. So let's see ask the question. Jesus Christ Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Uh, we'll go for it. Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. Uh, I'm not supposed to be... Interested. I know this is going to be hard for you to swallow, Doc, but I'm not from around here. I'm from a different timeline where Hill Valley isn't all screwed up and there aren't these crazy rules and, and my dad's not a snoop and my mom's not a drunk and, and you're my best friend in the whole space-time continuum. An old foggy like me? Your best friend? <laughs> yes! And Doc, I need you to get me back there. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. He's you don't remember friend. it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Hey! Why? Why not? Well, just for the hell of it, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important <laughs> for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. What do you and this is because everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Oh no. Yes, I, I mean no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think, think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. <laughs> the boy has fabricated an alternate reality. <laughs> Believe me, I wish I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Ah. Uh, Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your, ma your memory. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Something about that clock looks familiar. It's a courthouse clock. What 
you still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. Then you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was going to give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? <laughs> How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My darling wife was all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Let's see. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Yeah, what do we see? Um... I'm almost sorry we put Kid Tannen away. We? Yeah, come on, don't you remember? You disarmed him and I trapped him oh, in the I rocket car. Oh, I get it. No, that's not how it happened. I see it now. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. <laughs> the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Michael? Oh. It's impossible! <laughs> no, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... Uh, am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even <laughs> remotely. And your invention. No, Jeez, Edna. Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal <laughs> city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. Oh. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. 
and I determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Oh, Edna's going to try and get some proof before we can. That's handy because we're going to come here next. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Death! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. The big baseball bat will be handy for Dad, you. that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes! My tapes! What happened to my tapes?! Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage! Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Greetings, programs. That's an interesting science joke, isn't it? It's not working. The monitor's dead. The monitor's dead. The monitor's dead. The monitor's dead. found my tape yet? I'm telling you, Dad, it was taken by whoever bashed you with that bat. No, it's got to be here. Keep searching. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Hit them. Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? <laughs> um, yes. not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad, we can't just give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh... What I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. 
just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. <laughs> I Prove get it. Uh, wow. Prove it, okay. Um, inventory. Prove it. Uh, we demerit. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for Arthur. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. That doesn't look right. Hmm. Okay. Just about to press your buttons until the feed comes up for the yard. Hello? Hello? Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. I found the feed. That one. Hello? There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten, huh? huh? Top and he went down. I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never- wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. It cost <laughs> me a bundle at the hobby shop. <laughs> it's, the it's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. 
I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no, you have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right, you two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. What'd you do with my dad's secret videotape? Secret videotape? You know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin, but that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> See? Okay, I'm back. I didn't actually hear the question. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Biff, your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. <laughs> it's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Okay, that's weird. Did you attack my dad? Mm -hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. Where's my dad's tape? Mm -hmm. The decycling bin? What's wrong with you? Touch your toes. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Do the chicken dance. <laughs> yeah, he's hypnotized, all right. Uh, get the Would you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh, cool. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh. uh... Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh... Hey, you can't go in there! Uh... Hey! Whoa! <laughs> uh... Holy smokes! W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? 
That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, ma'am, did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? Uh, uh, McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! Hey, look over there! It's beer! Beer? Huh? Tannin! Focus! Uh... It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly. With his theta-amplified state, Mr. Tannin is more than a ma- Novelties? Biff, whoopee cushions! You never had much of a sense of humor. Einstein? <laughs> Doggy? What's going on? Biff? Howard Tannen? Obey your programming! Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. I think Martin will make a nice Citizen Plus candidate, don't you, Mr. Tannen? Uh... Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Where am I? Tannen? I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow <laughs> in your vices. Uh... Oh. Nice, take a pause. Okay. <laughs> Look! Girly mags! Boobies! Of course. <laughs> Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes. useless slacker come on edna give the poor jerk a break a break you sound like my wishy-washy husband always trying to find the good in people never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad maybe but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies now give me my dad's tapes so i can you mean those tapes i erased while you were struggling with my zombie what Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No. Edna! Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? 
I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Hey. I had a feeling she was... Doc! Ah! Father, what have I done? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. O okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? <laughs> I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. To the future. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Oh, the flux capacitor. It's been there in plain sight all the time. Great Scott. That is clever. Oh, I like My, that. This... this could work! It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha-ha! <laughs> Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! We bring Aini along. The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! He's happy. Guess we're gonna let Martin start the cage. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly. Yeah. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah.
down, Biff. Uh, stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Bass. It's bass the music, you <laughs> idiot. I hope I don't run out of rock. I need sick him. Place your bets. Yeah, what? the table, of course. <sighs> oh. Let's get out of here, Einy. I like that. That is clever. Ah, sorry, I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old list. Martin McFly. Edna, it's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. So next time we have obviously episode four. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. Double Visions, next episode. So, it's over. Thank, uh, thank you for, to King Guys and Rexha for suggesting this game and uh, playing it and uh hey it's Claudia Wells hey that's kinda cool you're probably thinking why I just realized that it's Claudia Wells and uh, Claudia Wells is the original first Jennifer part one that's interesting <laughs> anyway uh, thank you to King Isaac Linkser for suggesting this series of games it's been a great blast so far uh, I get this almost feeling that I'm now when I hit episode four, it's like when I hit episode four for the last one. I'm now regretting, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it ending. Oh well. Um, and of course, thank you to Daniel Vieira, Crowd, Moya777, and Stefan Sonok, who have all been suggesting, you know, tweeting along and enjoying these uh, videos as I post them. So thank you all and till next time we go back to the future of the game. Thank you for watching.